Anyways, just a little <laughs> linguistics chat for you while we're doing eyeshadow. All right, so today we are trying more makeup. I have a combo here. We've got some new releases from high-end brands, Sephora stuff, some Walmart stuff, some drugstore makeup. Big mix, big mix. I am filming this in my grandmother's house in North Carolina. This smells like hot chocolate right now because my grandparents make their coffee so, so weak that my mom and I have been adding in Chobani cold brew and it has like a creamer mixed in just to add like caffeine basically in the coffee. So it smells pretty good. Usually I'm a black coffee drinker. We make the sacrifice. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I almost just did the outro. We're not doing that. Let's get into putting some makeup on my face. Okay, I'm strategically covering <laughs> a massive pile of shit. Okay, so right now I just have on moisturizer. It's a sample of the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew, I think it was called. Dew gel, something like that. And it's very, very neutral. It doesn't seem to be like, you know, adding a bunch of glow or anything. Just kind of feels like a gel moisturizer. But I'm gonna start off with this hard candy primer. Back when I first started my YouTube channel, I had a couple hard candy products I loved. I was just walking around Walmart the other day here in North Carolina, as you do for an activity <laughs> where my grandma lives. A few of the hard candy things caught my attention. I don't know if this one's been out for a while, but this one says, wears for hours helps to minimize lines and pores for a smooth finish. I love how vague wears for hours is. So it does look like a silicone kind of formula, very, yes, silicone clear gel. Zooming in even more here, I'm in front of the window in natural lighting. Let's see if it blurs these pores at all, folks. I am always on the hunt for good pore filling, blurring primer, because good ones are hard to find. By the way, I'm on like second day Dyson or next morning Dyson hair, so I don't really know what's happening. I'm just going with it. The Dyson on short hair, I think, let me know if you guys want to see a video on that, like my thoughts on the Dyson since I had it with long hair and now short hair. I'm looking in a mirror that's like probably a foot and a half, two feet away from me, and I can still see my pores, so I don't think that did a whole lot. My grandma's dog Lily has joined us. Say hello to the vlogs. Look at this girl. Lily's gonna hang on my lap maybe. Don't fall off. Where are you going ma'am? This stuff I've still been loving. It's the Revolution Line Fix Under Eye Primer. You have to use another primer with this though. So if you try this and your concealer starts like clinging weird, you really have to definitely moisturize your under eyes and make sure you have something for it to kind of like slide on top of. It works really well with the NYX Marshmallow Primer, but it does make a difference for your under eye concealer. If you can find a good combo with it, you just need a little bit. It's like 10 bucks. I feel like it makes my concealer look actually more smooth. Okay, so for foundation, the Sephora gal kindly gave me a sample of the new Kosas foundation. So I have the shades 170NW for when I'm more fair, and then 260N for self-tanner. So yesterday I scrubbed off my tanner, so I don't really have any on, maybe like a little bit on my arms, but it's like, it's mostly off. So we're gonna try the lighter shade right now. So this is the new Revealer Skin Improving Foundation SPF 25. It's $42 and it says it's a medium coverage SPF treatment foundation with a natural dreamy finish that instantly blends like second skin to blur, smooth texture, minimize pores, has hyaluronic acid. My pet peeve with foundation listings is when they don't tell you how many shades there are and then I have to sit there and freaking count them. There's 36 shades. Very niche problem there. I'm gonna use my Haley's brush on one side and my Amazon sponge on the other. This has been back in stock, the Amazon sponge. The link doesn't change, so if you click the link and you don't see the pink sponge there, it is out of stock, but they put it on and off all the time, so just check back to that link, but when I'm filming this, it's in stock, and it's been in stock the last few times I've checked. Shade looks like it's gonna be pretty yellow. So I'm gonna start off with a brush on this side. So it says it's medium coverage, blurring, what is on my brush? Okay, anyways, medium coverage and blurring it says. It does look like medium coverage. I'm gonna try the other side with a sponge. Consistency feels like thin, but not super liquidy. I dyed my roots yesterday, so if you see black on my face, that's why. Sponge side looks like about the same coverage, maybe a tiny bit less. It looks natural. I wouldn't say it looks like super blurring or anything, but I'm gonna put it on my forehead. Okay, this is actually on me, kind of reminding me of the NARS new, what was that called? The Light Reflecting Foundation. The finish of it, and also it is like just looking makeup-y, like between my eyebrows and around my pores. Not horrible but I wouldn't say it looks like smoothing. So for concealer, retesting the KVD Good Apple Concealer. This is in the shade Light 107. I tried this in a vlog and I've tried this a couple times since. I still don't know what I think of it. So we're gonna try it again today. 
I still get asked about my brush set with Sigma and if it's available and sadly it is not because it's sold out but the best thing that you guys can do if you do want it is let Sigma know because they have more power than I do in this so if you do want the brushes to come back uh, yeah you can definitely let them know on social media or email them but I really appreciate it if you take the time to do that I would love for them to come back because we designed these for a few years I didn't just like plot my name on a brush so they were they were designed from scratch so I would love for them to come back and for you guys to be able to get them. I just feel like this concealer every time I put it on just looks like a little bit too drying under my eyes. For brows, this has been my go-to combo for like a couple months now. And it's funny because in a vlog or video, I think I said I wouldn't repurchase the Kosas Airbrow. But now that I'm like almost out of this, it doesn't look like it, but I am almost out of this. I'm like scraping the sides. I keep trying to use other tinted brow gels and it's not giving me the same effect, but... This one is just like, I like the color. It is very soft, filled in, blurred kind of brows, which isn't usually what I go for. So I think I just like the color of this one and the fact that it doesn't fill in too much. So now I'm like, maybe I do really like this. Maybe I will repurchase this because I'm not getting the same effect when I try to use other brow gels at this point. Like I've been trying to go back to the Huda one. But apparently I, I do really like this because <laughs> I, now I want to repurchase it. And then the Joa brow pencil is just always a great drugstore brow pencil. I have been filling in my brows more and I've been liking it. A lot of you guys have been too apparently. I've just been letting my natural brow hairs grow in more. I do have the permanent brows still on from like years ago which I still like because it does give them like some shape but I do like to change the shape more now and like add some height and fullness. So for cream bronzer, I'm debating between these two. I love this one, so I wanna reach for this one. It's the AOA Amber Concealer as a cream bronzer, but don't use this as concealer. It's a horrible concealer formula, like great as cream bronzer. I feel like I haven't used this one as much in videos. I'm gonna use it as the Milk Makeup Bionic Bronzer in the shade Time Travel. And I do like this formula. I tried mixing it in with foundation to darken it the other day, and I was thinking it might be like the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy drops, and it's not. <laughs> it worked, but it's, oh, I think I had some blush left over on here. Whoops, yeah, I definitely did. I used the Believe Beauty cream blush yesterday, and <laughs> that's what that is. I do wanna repurchase the Deep Bronzy drops because if you self-tan, or if you're in the summer and your like shade goes up and down, those are so nice to mix in with foundation or SPF. They look so pretty and glowy. I'm gonna be extra and add a little bit of this too. I love this one because it adds a little bit of coverage too since it is a concealer. It is like a drier concealer formula, but it, I don't find that it's like hard to blend out at all on my cheeks. But don't get it as an under eye concealer. You will be severely disappointed if you use it for that. <laughs> I don't know how I just thought of this, but it's so funny because whenever I read comments on videos when I have self tanner on, people are like, something looks different. You look like Megan Fox. And then when I don't have tanner on, I get comments saying I look like Lady Gaga. So <laughs> there's that for you. Also been loving this AOA Liquid Flesh Blush in the shade Pecan. It is like $1.50 and it's so pretty. It's hard to go overboard. Why did I just <laughs> emphasize that word weird? It's hard to go overboard with this liquid blush, which I love because some of them you put like a dab on and then you have just way too much happening, way too much pigment. This one just blends out really pretty. It's a beautiful peachy shade for summer. It's really weird living in, like since I've been in warm places, it's weird that now it's actually spring. I'm like, whoa, I feel like I've been in spring or summer this whole time <laughs> the last few months. Okay, now Lily wants to come back in. Make up your mind, ma'am. The queen is on her throne, this massive bed. I'm debating if I want to powder my under eyes because I am going to be trying a powder highlighter, which, oh my god, I've been trying to get my hands on this for forever and a half. When I did the video with Giselle, the New York makeup artist, does my makeup video, she used the Dior Backstage Glow face palette, and I've just heard really good things about this, like, over the years. This is not a new product. It's been out for a while, probably years, but when she used that, I was like, okay, that looks really pretty, and I also like that I can wear it when I'm fair. This shade looks like it's kind of like a blush toppery kind of thing, and then when I have tanner on, I could wear this shade and then use this shade as eyeshadow. Look at the Dior printed on here. Beautiful. Okay, I'm only adding a little bit of powder right here where I'm going to be applying the highlighter because I don't want to powder my full under eyes today. I'm using the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in 150. This does really, like, flatten out your face beautifully in a good way. 
whenever I use this, I can't just like use it in one spot. I want to like put it all freaking over because it just blurs out my skin so beautifully. Okay, that's it. I'm stopping. I am stopping. The last couple months, I've been loving this brush for highlighter. It's the ColourPop F24. Okay, wow. I'm way too excited to try this. Here we go. On my skin tone right now, I think I definitely need to take the lightest shade, and then maybe I'll mix in a little bit of, like, the pink one. There's no kick up. It is, like, a drier highlighter formula. For this side, I'm going to mix the white with the light pink. Oh, that's pretty. Gives it, like, more of a natural, subtle kind of look with that pink mixed in. That... I love. Looks really pretty. I'm gonna add some of the pink shade to my nose. I feel like when you put a pink highlighter on your nose, it can give you that like, you know, that kind of sun-kissed look, but while still highlighting. Look really pretty. And then I'm gonna add the white to my upper lip. And I guess my nose. Eye primer. I'm basically just trying to use this one up, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I do like it. Oh, has this been on my eye the whole time? I do like it for eyeshadow, as in like, eyeshadow goes on over top, makes it look nice and pigmented. I just don't like how it doesn't give coverage to my eyelids and it just kind of takes away any of the coverage that I do have on there. ColourPop came out with these two new palettes, Twist of Slate and Set in Stone, and both of these look right up my alley and I love the size. Uh-oh, we got one crumbler of a shadow. Here is Set in Stone, looks beautiful. Whoa, looks like there's like a cream shade. Is that supposed to be a primer? It has pressed powder palette and then there's no mention on the back at least of what this shade is, but this is definitely a cream. Rock solid is a pure cream, so maybe that's intended to be used as like a base. That would be cool. Why don't eyeshadow palettes do that? Put like a primer right in the palette. This one has it too. This is the cool toned one, Twist of Slate. This looks right up my friggin alley. I love cool tones. This looks beautiful. Um, yeah, I have to use this one. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing all the brushes that I packed with me and that I've been using for the last six months. I did even narrow them down more in San Diego last time. I got rid of like half again. So these are like really what I feel like the brushes that I need are. That could be a cool video. Let me know. I'm gonna start out with the lightest shade, So Faded. I feel like the Kosas foundation I'm on the fence, I think, with like a really smoothing primer underneath. This one has potential. The shadow feels very buttery. This brush is freaking great. It's a double-ended flower beauty brush. I love this side for the crease, and then this one is great for eye primer. I'm gonna go in the shade Take a Chance, just deepen up the crease a little bit. I think I wanna go with like not a super crazy smoky eye look, maybe just more of like a natural situation. I think it's so weird how words catch on. Not just slang, but like sayings. I feel like situation is such a popular word right now. So it made me think of that, but just like trends, words trends, like how does it happen? Now I feel like it happens way easier with TikTok. One video goes viral, someone says something that like catches on and then it's just easily transmittable. But in the past, like before social media, if you think about it, the fact that sayings could like catch on and then go all across the country or the world is just wild because it was literally just word of mouth back then. Anyways, just a little... <laughs> linguistics chat for you while we're doing eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Carbon. This looks beautiful. Just gonna press it on with my finger. If you have green eyes and you're usually like a warm tone gal, you have to try cool tones. They can just really make your eyes pop. This shade could be better. Like it's subtle, it's good for like an everyday, but it's not like amazing. Let's take the shade Night Vision, which is like a dark gray. Actually, should I do Cool Down? Cool Down is even more cool toned right here. I'm gonna do this one and just kind of press that on the outer third of my eyes. I don't want to super smoke it out. Okay, I found this in my eyeliner bag when I was in San Diego and I want to try it out, like retry it. I definitely tried this in a video a long time ago, but it's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Liquid Ink Liner. So this is just drugstore liner that I don't hear a lot of people talk about and I'm just curious what I think about it. It's a felt tip. I feel like I'm remembering that I liked this one, I think, for going over your lash band. Not as much like creating the wing. I'm actually gonna take that same flat liner brush and let's do a little smudging because I don't want this to be like a super, oh, this one doesn't smudge. It just kind of like dries then lifts up if you try to smudge it. I'm not loving this liner. It doesn't go on like smooth with this applicator. I also feel like it's not looking that black. This one's a no from me. Just to show you, I'll do it with my favorite NYX one. You want to do it while it's still wet, so put it on and then smudge. See how this one smudges out without like totally lifting up like the Maybelline one? This side ended up getting more wingy and then I had to make this side more wingy, so here we are. Very excited to try this new Essence Mascara. This is the Double Trouble. Essence makes some of my favorite mascaras ever. Love the Lash Princess. There's a waterproof version and then a 
extra black version. So I'm gonna do the extra black because I don't think any rain is happening today. Whoa, this is an interesting wand. I don't think I've seen one like this quite yet. So it has like normal bristles and like big long bristles on one side and then it's curved and on the other side there's like little tiny rubber bristles. That's smart because honestly I usually use two mascaras for that reason. Like I do one to get volume with those kind of bristles and then I always do like a shorter rubber one to kind of separate and lengthen. Especially coming from Essence, I have high hopes here. Okay, here's with just the like volume side, I guess we could call it. And I'm gonna flip it and get those small rubber bristles. It is more of a dry formula. I just got a lot on my lid, so I'm gonna let that dry down before I brush that off, but it's okay. I'm not like obsessed. It's funny, some videos there's like so many winners and almost everything is amazing, and then some videos are having one like today where it's a lot of stuff is not terrible, but not amazing. This one I'm not loving as much as the Essence Lash Princess. I actually think it's a little bit too dry. I think if it was a little bit wetter, you could build easier, but the formula is very dry. I always have lashes that I like need to use up before opening a new one, you know? So that's what I have going on here. I'm pretty sure these ones are Scarlet by AOA. Okay, lashes are on. I just think these are the friggin' prettiest and they are a dollar. Gotta love it. So I hunted this friggin' lip liner down during the Sephora sale. It's the Natasha Denona Anita Rose Lip Crayon in the shade 1.5 Calla. It kept being like out of stock and then I would do the in-store pickup and it said it was in stock, then it was actually out of stock, you know the deal. Oh, this is pretty. I'm in a major lip phase. Um, let me just show you some of them. So these are like the ones that I'm currently testing along with some others, but I'm just, I'm in a lip mood lately. Gliding on very smooth. I'm just gonna swatch it for you against a few other lip liners so you can see the difference. These are all very similar, <laughs> I'm aware, but they're different, okay? So this is the Natasha Denona one I just put on next to Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So you can see this one is a little bit like peachier, rosier. This one is Huda Beauty Honey Beige. And here's Koki 517 Nude. Looking at it, it looks pretty close to Iconic Nude. I do notice a difference when it's on my lips though. This one could be nice if I'm not going for like as cool tone of a look. A lot of times now I'll just put on lip liner all over my lips and then put a gloss over top and I love the combo. My standout standout that I'm obsessed with right now, Lawless Forget the Filler in Daisy Pink. So beautiful. It gives you that like plump look comfortable on the lips. It does have a slight like strawberry scent, but I don't notice it once I, after I put it on, it's like just the initial. It has a cool applicator that like hugs your lips. The color is just so beautiful. Love everything about this. I also have been loving the Hard Candy Plumping Serum Voluminizing Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Teddy. I do have this one that I wanted to try, ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Lip Cream in Fresh Kiss. Let me just swatch this. There's that one that would totally go well with this. Yeah, I want it lighter and more, a little more cool tone to go with the eyes. So I'm gonna add on the hard candy gloss. This is so freaking pretty. It has a vanilla scent and it's the prettiest light pink shade. It's very lightweight and it gives a really pretty shine to the lips. Like, especially when it hits the light, it's just so freaking pretty. I also wanted to try these. It's the new e.l.f. Duncan Club, the Glaze for Days lip gloss set. There's something like jingling in here. What is this? The packaging of this collection was so cute. One of their sponges is... It was like a donut shaped sponge that came in a little Dunkin Donut bag. Very cute. I'm just destroying this box. Please hold. Oh, they have little keychains. I am curious about this pink one because like I said, so many pink glosses. So I want to try this. Maybe I'll just add this over top now that you can see what this looks like on its own. Let me add a little bit. See how pink it is. Definitely added a little pink. Now my lips are very glossy. Okay, it definitely smells like vanilla. I do have like <laughs> just too much gloss on that I'm getting like the, you know. Okay, so this is the final makeup look. Just natural, kind of soft today. I think the standout for me today is definitely the Dior highlighter. So pretty. I'm very excited to use this again. It doesn't look like powdery on the skin. Like it, it almost looks like a, a liquid highlight a little bit. I'm excited about this lip liner. What else? Is there anything else I'm excited about? I feel like that one was a <laughs> Not as many winners as the last couple of videos I've done of trying products. The Kosas foundation, still something about it to me that's just looking like a little bit makeup-y that I'm not liking, like around my pores and right here. I'm gonna say I'm a no on the KVD Good Apple Concealer. I just, I don't know, every time I've tried this, I'm just not wowed by it, but those I would say are the highlights, friends. So everything will be linked down below in the description box. If you wanna see some really good makeup, the last few videos I did trying new makeup, there were so many winners in, so I'm gonna link those videos down below. But I love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.